And we're back with more of our interview with Pastor Lon Solomon of the McLean Bible Church just outside Washington in McLean, Virginia. Pastor Solomon, tell me about how you came from your earliest days as a convert to Christianity um, to the McLean Bible Church and how your ministry there began. Well, I went, when I first came to Washington, this man, Bob Porter, right. took me under his wing and then uh, handed me off to a Dr. Bill Simmer, who was running a, a mission to uh, people who were in jail called the Good News Mission. And he challenged me to go to seminary. He said, you know, if you really want your life to count, you should go get some training. And I said, well, like, what do they do in seminary? He said, well, they teach you Greek and Hebrew and how to preach and theology. And I'm like, very cool. W where do you find one of these things? I knew nothing. And so I went to Capitol Seminary here in Washington, D.C. for four years, and then I went on and did my graduate work at Johns Hopkins in Old Testament. I taught at Capitol for five years, and in 1980, uh, McLean Bible Church invited me to come over and be the pastor. Now, I want to ask you something. that uh, This is a program that's almost always about politics, and there's been a lot, of, um, a lot said about the role of evangelical Christians in reelecting George W. Bush as president. And I think some uh, fear in some quarters, perhaps on the American left and maybe elsewhere as well, that what is going on in these churches, uh, ministries like your own, is focused to a considerable extent on politics, um, in part because of the issue of abortion, but on other issues as well. What about that? Well, we don't. We never talk about politics. We make it a, a, our absolute goal never to do partisan political preaching of any kind. We have Republicans and Democrats and Independents who all come to McLean and God loves Democrats and Republicans the same. It doesn't matter. So we stay off of that. In 10 years, the last 10 years, I've probably spoken on abortion three times. In 10 years? In 10 years. On homosexuality, gay rights, gay marriage, perhaps about three times. And uh, those are the only two issues of this kind we take a stand on. We feel those are two such compelling moral issues in America that the church cannot be silent. Beyond that, we don't touch any of these issues. We talk about Jesus Christ, who he is, how you can get to know him better, because we think people's ability to be a strong follower of Christ depends a lot on knowing who he really is. And the other thing we talk about is how to live an authentic Christian life every day that you can go out in the world with and people can see it and be attracted to Christ. It is a feature of your sermons that after you have spoken about the scripture of the day, you then ask the audience to ask you a question. That's and that right. question is always as loud as you can get them to say, <laughs> so, so what? what? All right. right. So how did, and, and, the, and that is when you give them what? The what about you, what about me part of your Well, it's the practical application. You know, I like to say if a preacher doesn't tell people so what and how, what good is he? And I believe uh, the Bible was written to, for our everyday life, not to be some liturgical book, but to teach us how to live everyday life. And if that's true, then every passage of the Bible has a so what that applies to your life and my life today. And that's what we talk about. I want people to walk out and say, now, in light of what I learned here today, it's going to change the way I live my life this week. It's Christmas Eve as people watch us here. Um, on, in terms of the Christmas story, which is so familiar to people as a story, the everyday application, so what? Yeah. Well, the everyday application is that Jesus came to the manger in Bethlehem as the original Christmas gift. For God so loved the world that he gave us his one-of-a-kind son, that whoever would believe on him would not perish but have eternal life. He was the original Christmas gift given to bring eternal life to you, me, and every human being who, who was willing to believe in him. And that's the real meaning of Christmas. And so that's the so what here is that God loves Brit Hume, Lon Solomon, every one of us the same and wants us all to go to heaven. But that can only happen through Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross for us. That particular idea, as Christ put it, I am the way and the truth and the light. No one comes to the Father except through me. So fundamental to Christianity is one of the ideas, one of the passages of Scripture that I think some people find most off-putting most intolerant even of other faiths and beliefs and ways of approaching God. What do you say to that? Well, I say two things. Number one, when people say that to me, I say, hey, look, I'm just the messenger. I don't run heaven. I didn't write the Bible. If you want to argue the message with me, you're way above my pay grade. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to give you the message. You need to argue it with the guy who runs heaven, and that's not me. The other thing I would say is that absolute truth exists in our world. Two plus two is four, no matter how you do, how you do it. 
you know, if you've got a bacterial infection and you give it an antibiotic, if you give it the right one, it will kill it. I mean, there are absolute things in our world. So why should it surprise us if there's only one absolute way to get eternal life? I, I don't see that as a problem. And you know, to tell someone the real way to get eternal life, I don't feel as intolerant if that really is the only way. It'd be like me coming to you if you had a bacterial infection saying, Britt, this, this is an antibiotic and this is the only one that'll work on you. Any other antibiotic, you're going to die. And you saying to me, how intolerant can you possibly be to tell me there's only one antibiotic I can take? You see, we wouldn't do that with medicine, but we do it with this so-called intolerance of religious truth. You know, all I can say is, I believe Jesus is the only way to get to heaven, and it's a loving act, not an intolerant act to tell people that. Lon Solomon, pleasure to have you. Pleasure to be here. Merry Christmas. A Merry Christmas to you, Brent. Thanks very much.